Hi, my name is Paul Offit. I'm talking to you today, Thursday, June the 9th, from the Vaccine Education Center at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. What I want to talk about is a, a new vaccine, a new weapon in this fight against COVID. So on June the 7th, two days ago, the Food and Drug Administration's Vaccine Advisory Committee met to discuss a vaccine that's made by Novavax. Now, this vaccine is a different strategy than the previous Pfizer vaccine or Moderna vaccine, because the way those vaccines work is you, you give the person the gene that codes for the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein, the surface protein, and then your body, cells in your body, make that protein. That's the way those, those two vaccines work. And the antibodies that you make then against that protein, that surface protein, prevent the virus from binding to cells and therefore protect you. This is a different strategy. Here, instead of giving the gene that codes for the protein, you actually give the protein itself. You give the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein. Um, it's adjuvanted with an adjuvant um, that is called Matrix M that is the same adjuvant that should been used in Shingrix now for about five years. So there's a lot of experience with that adjuvant. And most importantly, I think this particular technology, giving the protein itself to induce an immune response is a well-worn technology. We've been using it to make the hepatitis B vaccine for 30 years. And we also use the same strategy to make the the uh, human papillomavirus vaccine, and one of the influenza vaccines called flu block. So what do we know about this vaccine so far? What we know is that in the, the groups that were tested so far, um, it, which is about a 30,000 person study, that the vaccine is very likely to protect against moderate to severe disease caused by the current circulating strains. I think we also know that it's, it's generally safe, but there were uh, a few cases, three cases of young men who after the second dose of the vaccine had mild, short-lived transient myocarditis, which is inflammation of the heart muscle. Um, that's very similar to what was seen with the mRNA vaccines. Now, we'll see whether or not this holds up when the vaccine is given to more people, but it is a, a, a concern, and I think that we'll be looking at this to see whether or not what happened with the mRNA vaccines might also be true with this particular vaccine. Thank you.